What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Game for Daniel, aka Big D. And last episode, we did an unboxing on the Natec SSD 250GB to be able to install PS5 games. You're gonna need an SSD. Solid state drive. This guy in there. Plug it in. Which, yep, it's in. So if you guys want to see the unboxing of me unboxing this and putting it inside the PS5, go check that link out and you check that one out before you watch this one. So today I have a new SSD. As you can see, it's very shiny. This one cost me about $34, which I am selling it to a person on eBay for $26. So, you know, I only lost like maybe 10 bucks, something like that. So I'm selling this guy because I don't need it. And I went and got me this guy for 70 bucks, which is a 512 gigabyte XPG Gamex S50 Lite. Now this is a PCLE 4.0, which is what is required to be able to install in the PS5. Now this one was a Gen 3. This one is a Gen 4. So that's what, this is why this one didn't work in the PS5 because it was a Gen 3. This is a Gen 4, so this one should definitely work in the box. And as I'm open, it says game to the extreme. And, whoo, did not mean for that. There she is, the XPG, which I heard these are good brands. So, uh, yeah, 512 gigabytes. So I went a little bit bigger than what I did with this one, which is 250. This is 512. So let's go ahead and get my Venom slash Carnage PS5 apart and install the SSD. Take the stand off, pull apart the side panel. And right here is where the SSD is located. So right there it is. So what you do is unscrew that screw right there, which the PS5 already comes with a screw, which this is where it holds the SSD in place. I wanna make sure it clips right in there, which it is in there. So now I just take that screw and uh, Screw the sucker right in there. And voila, it's installed in the PS5. And now, put your PS5 back together, which is super easy. Clips right back on. And then you just install your uh, stand. All right, and as you see, to use your M.2 SSD, you need to format it, okay? The red read speed of your M.2, and then it tells me the speed of what it's running at. Your M.2 has been formatted, and it tells me how to safely remove it. And we're all set. So there you have it. Now I have a 512 gigabyte SSD.